I decided to get the rhinoplasty procedure to remove the little bump on my nose. I do a lot of take pictures and print and then it just bothers me sometimes when I see it there. Tina came in, she was thinking of doing a rhinoplasty procedure. She had a bump that she didn't like and she also wanted her tip to be a little smaller and I think her nose was slightly shifted to one side. At the initial consultation, I go over everything and determine what is the most pleasing look for them and then we just go from there. It's just something personal that bothers me. People probably don't even notice so I don't really think it's going to give like a great impact or anything but it'll make me happy so that's what matters. I am a little nervous. I'm not nervous in the aftermath. It's just kind of scary going into surgery period so that's what's making me nervous but I'm excited to get it over with at the same time. <laughs>wanted a soft little curve, so that's what we did for her. And at the same time, we brought her tip in to give more tip definition and we straightened the nose. When we're doing the rhinoplasty, when we're removing a bump, we're actually just shaving the bump down. I take an instrument, looks like a big nail file, we just shave the bump down, we cut the cartilage with a knife. And at the same time, almost always I break the bones and bring the bones in. That helps close the flat spot that develops from shaving that bump down and also uh, acts to narrow the nose, which gives it usually a more pleasing result. As most patients with bumps have somewhat wide nasal bones, so they like it when it's brought in more defined. And for the tip, we just reduce the cartilage in the tip region. There's tip cartilage called alar cartilage, which we trim, and we leave enough behind to give structure to, to your nose. It's important not to remove too much cartilage, otherwise the nose will just collapse. It'll give that kind of pinched obvious nose surgery kind of uh, result. So we want to leave enough cartilage behind to give structure to your nose, but at the same time take off enough to reduce it and with various stitching techniques we can also give more definition to the tip. Some doctors like to use a lot of tip grafts. I typically don't do too many tip grafts because I think over time that they can cause problems showing through the skin or maybe even shifting a little bit. So. Unless it's absolutely necessary, I'll work by manipulating the existing cartilage. I'm very happy and pleased. I didn't want anything too drastic, but I wanted enough for the change to make me happy, and I got everything that I wanted, so I'm very, very happy my expectations were met. I think she's about three months post-op now, and she's doing fantastic. She has a nice, soft curve. For females, we tend to make a more curved type of look. And so far, she's healing great. She doesn't have any pain at all, and tip has softened up quite a bit. Well, my friends and family, when I first saw them, they kind of would look at me and say, did you get a new haircut or you look really nice today, but they didn't quite know what it was, which I was happy because it wasn't anything too drastic. And then I told them about it and they're like, wow, it looks so nice. And they were checking out and they were so happy for me and they, they really loved it and they were pleased and they said whoever you went to, these did a really good job. Noses will change for up to a year. Even though she looks great now, the tip will still get softer and probably will still get a little bit smaller. But so far she's healing great and she's very happy and she's had a fantastic result. You know, I feel more confident and I'm very happy now. So something that was bothering me for her quite some time, even though it's something small, not very important. And sometimes those things just, you know, kind of mess with your confidence a little. So now I'm very happy I got that out of the way. And now, I don't know, I'm just having fun, I'm enjoying it. It's out of my mind now. <laughs>